One year here and two years at the University of Texas at Austin. I am running for secretary because I believe that my particular set of skills are best based on this position based on my past experience. I have been a volunteer coordinator for Minority Academic Engineering Society and I have led a small orchestral group for two years. Um, and then this past year I had the privilege of serving as your ROGC co chair and I was able to project those management skills onto a larger amount of information and people. <coughs> Uh, so, I understand the need to communicate between the officers and the chairs to make sure that I have the information needed to send out to the members and the clarity and on time. I also understand the need to organize the information received, given to me, so that anyone looking at it for the first time, it's visually appealing and easy to read. So, I will, fulf I will fulfill my intended task of generating the newsletter, managing the point system, and uh, taking many minutes. Beyond this, I would like to serve as a supportive role to the officers and the chairs, and maybe give some ideas that I'm bringing over from UC Austin from my time over there. I would also like to try to encourage the interactivity between the other minority engineering groups, such as NEDB, SACC, and SWE. And I would also like to look at the beginning of the year, the, our spread of the majors for uh, anyone that's outside of the engineering circle. So we can look into scholarships and other information tailored to them so that they're more encouraged to come back to our um, events and our meetings. So if I get this position, I would like to, I, I want to meet you guys on a more personal level and to understand the system here, this chapter specifically, and the vaccines of it. So I thank you for your time and your consideration. Austin, there's like a graduate initiative, so it's basically people that want to look into graduate school and see if it's right for them or not. We would ask the faculty members, they would let us look into the research labs, and so we would consult with them, say, hey, we're interested, would you allow our members to go and check it out? And so they would do it, and then that would be under the academic pillar. Another thing would probably be mentorship program. We would usually have a large scale events for all the mentorships programs. It's kind of, I don't want to say it's passive right now, but it's, um, I, I kind of want to encourage larger events for all the mentor, mentors and mentees to come together at a large-scale event like hiking or tubing or something like that. Go to Eddie. Uh, one more question. Uh, the privilege of ship, which one do you think needs the most work? I would probably say academics. Um, I had already given the example of graduate initiative. Um, I like what we're doing already. It's familiar to study Red Tuesday. I had it back at UC Austin as well. Um, I think in the future we will want to encourage more tutoring for our students so that they can see more academically. And uh, hopefully we can provide more scholarships in the newsletters. So it'll be a new one every week and maybe include the one from the previous week and see, you know, make sure we have different varieties of our scholarships. All right, the audience? Any questions? So, as an engineer, we get a lot of emails. How are you planning to make ours stand up? Receiving emails or sending emails? The, the emails that we send to our members. Okay. So, to our members, we are, well, I'll probably do a new template for more aesthetic appeal. And um, I had mentioned that I kind of wanted to do more interactivity between the other um, <coughs> Minority engineering groups, so hopefully I'll make announcements and I'll see what they're doing and see what they include in the newsletter. And maybe they'll be interested in it. If not, then that's fine as well. And it would just be maybe the arrangement of it and uh, any other information that would be tailored to our members specifically. We got time for one more. Go on this. Um, it says here that you're going to be studying abroad during July and August. How do you plan on staying in touch with your I will people? not be studying abroad. I think that's someone else. I'm sorry. Someone else. I'm so sorry. It's all right. Okay. Okay, I, I do have a question. Uh, you mentioned 
being more involved with other organizations. Yes. I'm trying to figure out what you mean by that because you are running for secretary. I'm trying to figure out what plans you have. So as a secretary, I said that I was a supportive role, so my ideas are simply ideas. It's not actualized until one of the chairs actually takes it into its account. But what I'm doing is probably talking to them, saying, okay, what are you guys doing in your organization that maybe will interest us? Um, we are um, an umbrella organization. Well, what can I say to that? We are all under, under an umbrella EOE. All of us. We're minority um, groups, and so. Wait, can I'll, you can you repeat that? What was the program? That was the umbrella. Or? We're under an EOE umbrella, meaning the equal opportunity. So we, as we say, see us. We're all EOE. We're all equal opportunity. We're all striving for that. So just to be clear, what's the difference between that and promise? Promise is inclusive of all the engineering organizations, as far as I know, after consulting other individuals about it. And so I actually was considering doing another organization that would be an umbrella for specifically the EOE community, but I did not want to actually actualize that because of promise. So my goal is to simply to just maybe look into each other, see what we're offering to each other, because it's just more opportunities, and but in a two-way direction. Okay. And it's just uh, advertising for both ways as well. Okay. All right. That's time. Oh, uh, well, actually, Jonathan? I, I have a quick comment. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned that you want to get ideas from other organizations. Um, so let's say you start implementing this organization. It's going to get to a point where someone's going to be like, well, what's the difference between chefs and everything else? It's, I'm not trying to dissuade our members from attending us and going to somewhere else. Right. It's not that goal. It's just simply goals like, I'm not, lim we're not limiting ourselves necessarily, but it's just something that if they have something that we're not offering, then certainly we would like to invite our members over there to attend whatever they might be interested in. And the same goes the other way around. They can come to our events if we have something that interests them as well. All right, let's go, man.